Do you see soon? Anomaly 4. Bex, you really have to hear this in here. Two voices, definitely Isu. One of them is Alethea, I think. From the staff? Yeah. But I don't think these are contemporary. They feel candid. Accidental. I'll keep trying. Huh? <laughs> 
What have you done? The poor boy collapsed so suddenly, fell by the faintest taste of Mr. Berry. With his father standing over him, weeping. <laughs> Feels like it. This is literally the clearest raw memory stream footage we've ever seen from the Isu era. Only question is, who's feeding them to you? Förungur okkar frækinn. Let's go.
all shadows in vain. See you, old friend.
Stretch your wings sooner. I have a thirst for If not now, the next time. Cast about this land, my friend. I need your eyes, my friend. Good to have. Take care of yourself out there. One of my better pieces. You wouldn't regret getting this. Until next we meet. I must be on my way now. Goodbye.
ってる There you are, Gunner, and with a smile I haven't seen in some time. Over here, Eivor. Thought I smelt you on the wind. Gunner, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Eivor. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunner. Lavendine da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal, but she loves the ugly little thing. Have you a family, Bridget? That mama dad cut it even gilder than Anon. Couldn't help Drews me. Breaks with man power, the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch. You two bags of air seek a compass killer. A tavor gal, Cleese Lown. Right, no daylight to waste then, eh? So the Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> and the merchants here are not unsettled by. <laughs> and the merchants here are not unsettled by lurking vikinger. They come from all over to celebrate Sawan. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mine. Sawan? Is that what these cab roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let's bring a few back. the elder man Kunan a good leader seeing to his people's needs let us join hands when his task is done yeah 
Then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hans as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be Elderman after Kunan. Tevdur, this is Eber, my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Need to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick and the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? I'm here to hasten my friend's marriage and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards, then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? I'm here as a friend to Gunnar. I do not like to make enemies when breaking bread, so tread careful, boy. Apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Uh, ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last sowing. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder! As your Harvest King, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry! So, you've come to meet the family, before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then, by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. I, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm? God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Sowen. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. It lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenhelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You're a kinder man than the mask you wear. You won't be rid of me. I'll keep my word to Kunan for your safe return.
I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch, or turn my back? Oh Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I'll not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Teftir. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Teftir, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? <laughs> <laughs> Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It is good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splued, cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester, unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kuna. Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one. Find me at the festivities. Have a look, Sunan. Here I am. So, what adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful, accosted by a singular of boar. Odd, but path now usually south. To the Brivo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight, two of you as a pair. I kept my word to Kunan, and that spatchcock Tefdir lives. Restraint, Eivor? I was half expecting you to wallop the lad around the head and ass. I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Tefdir. I need a drink. 
Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskal Anvala spread you on creatures of the Vale. The bag for treats. Glowashester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given. <laughs> I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, braying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Louvre. Now, let's hooden. Become the Mary Louvre, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we... Gunner, with no one. Trick or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Louid. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sow in night and the moon is high. Mary Louid haunts my door. The air is chilling and ghosts are spilling all across the misty moor. Oh, ghosts and beasties. Here, spirit. Take your reward. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle skull. I am not going to sing, Gunnar. A child. I have... I have cakes! Mommy made! Here! Ah, lads getting into their cups, scaring the wee ones. Eivor, mighty warrior, knocker of doors. Victor of caves. How does it feel Wait, to pillage that is freely given? A worthy haul, and a tradition worth keeping up. to rhyme with you in the gloaming see her roaming hidden neath the hood never knowing who is knocking wanting something good oh very nice <laughs> look at these cakes sweet as honey gunner you should see this gunner my cakes Gunner! Oh, damn the surter. I said, cloth ears, take your false gods and piss off back to your shit smeared hovel! You are either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers! Winged rats taking what isn't yours! I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Goner, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hood and more. <laughs> you seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ, I'm tall. Won't take long! You 
lot we should be burning alive. Are you sure you don't want to stay in Gloucester? They know how to have fun. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg, then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis. Modron's a gumpas to patch this lad. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenith, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before you return. I'll give me strength. My mom modern is known I'm a humor toish good run. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go away, Wayward. Make Marion try to loosen Tevter's shoulders. Mordran. You do not have to save his leg. I'll understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. Eivor, there you are. Tefter. You're well met. Gwilym here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lad will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. For a shaveling of the Christ Lord, you have a lot of scars, Gwilym. Not every tonsured man is a wet ear, Dabby babe. I came to God after I had scarred my soul with sin. 
To holy hearts and humid eyes. It is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull. merriment feeds my soul of all the elder men of none it is well known the burdens of death i am to be sacrificed in the wicker man as king of the harvest like elderman simkin before me and all before him horrible barbaric practice a burnt offering after poor crops they hope well-fed gods will smile upon them Your people are loyal to you, Kunan. Seems a waste to throw your life away. Their loyalty would falter if I shirked my duties. I will die glorious in flame, not live to further choke my homeland. A toast, then, to Elderman Kunan, joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Tevder. May he wear the horns head high. Weak. What is this? Water. I feel like Thor chugging oceans, no effect to my head or step. <laughs> you heard the woman. Give her something stronger. <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills, and the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. Wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. Eivor, speak true. My feelings be damned, I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse is ours, yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> and how nice is that? Very, very nice. I think I might like you even better when you're me. Tevder, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah! The greatest, greatest oath and the greatest union! To the oath! The treaty! The greatest! <laughs> the 
something. <laughs> People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship. <laughs> this way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. <laughs> you see magic. That's the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps... I judge too much. Truths I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. <laughs> A great blackness chases stars across the sky in great worlds of color and light. Whoosh. Here we are, right inside here. I feel warm. Do you feel warm? Always warm here. <laughs> it's a wonder you don't walk around naked. Yes, um... Well... Come on in. Tefter! 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 Where are you? Hell's breath. What happened last night? Ah, the effects of that draft still cling. Tefton! Are you here? Tefter's bodyguard, killed by knife. has been broken and it's covered in blood a weapon maybe blood could be tefters if he was the heavy thing being dragged been cut. Open up! Tempter! What's happened here? Open this door! Come out of there! Mighty footprints. Someone was hiding back here. Still has his little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here, lying in wait while we approached outside. 
They jumped from the shadows to kill the bodyguards. And to disable Tifton. And they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Gwillem's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Gwillem's special something. Maybe Mother Mordron will know the contents. There she is! What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same! Kunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parlay my innocence. I should have heeded Tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests, and now he has paid with his life. With Tevder gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain! Get the murderer! If they see me, this will get messy. Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember. Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? No, it's not. I awoke in Tefter's wrecked home. Blood, but no body. Kunin's men are after me for the lad's murder. Uh-oh. Did you stab him? Mother, can I see? Blood, but no body. We must see what has happened to him. Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwilym poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Can't have gotten far! They're coming for you. If they know I've aided you, it'll be my head next. Can you? I've seen nothing and no one. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewyn. Yes. Halewyn's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I've business at Rollandrich. Find me there later.
Starlight, my starlight, a swift death by a what a fellow a what else? A witch told me that you cannot deliver your love letter because there are bees in the way. If you would do this kindness for guilt, I enjoy much of. Oh, I had a feeling you would understand. If I find this love of yours, I'll deliver your feelings. Thank you. Oh, thank you, stranger. I shall call you su the sweetness of honey on the tongue, with the danger of being stung. It is like love, always a chance of losing. said you had taken swiftly to the stack of stones. This is impressive. And it can stand hard against the winds as well. Watch! <gasps> <laughs> A burst of blue air that blows to rival Njord's noisy belches. Well made, Eivor. But know this. Height is not the only trait of a Cairn's beauty. Shape. Balance and expression are key. Seek a variety of these. Let your only goal in this task be to surpass your own best creation.
Sunan, guide me.
His ghost will haunt us. There's... This man is a Norse. I will not harm you. I just... Over that way. He was playing...
That must be the home of the druid. Fellow's land is peopled by men of straw. 